everyone. Hello. So as the screen is being shared, there it is. Um, we are going to go over um, the verse from last week. Then Jesus said to his disciples, The harvest is plentiful, but the, but the blank are few. Ask the Lord of the harvest, therefore, to send blank out into his harvest field. Matthew 9, 37 to 38. Workers. That's right. So, um, what Jesus is saying uh, when he says the harvest is plentiful, but the workers are few, um, Miss Tina talked about, or yeah, Miss Tina talked about this last week. And when Jesus is talking about the harvest, who or what is he, is he talking about? He's talking about us. He's talking about his people. And when we're going out to harvest something, we're not talking about fruit. We're not talking about vegetables that we want to, you know, keep to ourselves. But we're talking about God's people. And Jesus is asking us to be those workers, to go out there and to be the people that um, we bring others to God's kingdom. That's what God wants us to do. So when the Lord um, is sending us to be the workers, we are going out to the fields, we are going out to others, and we are sharing the good news of the gospel. All right, so let's pray. Uh, Lord and Father, just thank you for uh, this day. Thank you for uh, your son. We're so thankful and blessed to have your son who died on the cross for us. I pray that as we um, just worship you today, that we are reminded of your faithfulness to us. Uh, thank you for um, providing for us during this difficult time. And um, I just pray that you may be with us as we learn more about you today. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. He's the chosen one. He's the champion. The winner for all time. With me to the end. Jesus is my friend. He's always by my side. Anything I face, he will be my strength. Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power 
and the glory forever. Amen. Hello? Oh, hey. Oh my gosh, it's so good to hear from you. Absolutely. I'm actually in the middle of teaching a Metro Kids lesson, so I'm gonna have to go. Okay, bye. That was so silly, right? Um, so that was a phone call, and you guys know how a phone call works, right? You kind of scroll through, and you choose someone to call, choose a friend to call, and then you press on their name, and then it starts ringing on the other end, right? Um, on one hand, it's important for one person to be able to call, but then on the other hand, it's important when you're receiving the call to actually answer, because that's a way that you can actually show that you care that your friend is calling you, right? Is to, have, to pick up and to actually talk to them. We're going to read a passage right now that um, kind of talks about that same thing, about how Jesus talks about how important it is to give a message, but also to receive a message. And sometimes you just have to do both. All those things are used to share in the blessing that God has actually promised us. So we're going to hear from Miss Vanika as she reads it right now. From Matthew chapter 10, verses 40 to 42. He who receives you receives me, and he who receives me receives the one who sent me. Anyone who receives a prophet because he is a prophet will receive a prophet's reward. And anyone who receives a righteous man, because he is a righteous man, will receive a righteous man's reward. And if anyone gives even a cup of cold water to one of these little ones, because he is my disciple, I tell you the truth, he will certainly not lose his reward. If you've been with us and you've been watching Metro Kids, the past couple of weeks we've been talking about you know, what it means to go out and tell people about Jesus, to tell people about God, and this is all part of it. So last week, the memory verse that Mr. Donald um, kind of put up for us and that James and Jaden, they helped to answer, is that there are many, many workers that are needed, right? And because the harvest is plentiful, and it wasn't just a harvest, like fruit harvest, but it was a harvest of people. There are a lot of people that still need to hear about Jesus. And he's asking, he said, all you need to do is just pray and you'll be filled with the spirit, just like the disciples were, to go out and do all of his amazing works. So now this is all part of that, and it's kind of along the same thing. But before I did that, I, I felt like I needed like kind of, um, I was going to do like a little bit of like a transformation in order for uh, me, us to go through this lesson. So let me go ahead and do that right now. Oh, oh gosh, okay. All right, well, it's always a little disorienting when I do that. It's kind of so interesting, right? Oh, okay, 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 where am I? Ah, okay, there we go. All right, well, you might be wondering why I look like this when I have this little fancy crown up here. Uh, that's because I've been given my dream job. I was asked by a king to stand in his place on official business. I act and speak on his behalf. I'm his representative. I am not a king. I'm not even royal. But the royal household called me into service. The king has many messages to reach many people in many places where he has business. I am just the king's humble representative, but he said that he would honor those who honor me. For example, if someone welcomes me as a special guest, the king will reward them. That's because people who honor me are actually honoring him since I stand in his place. Of course, since I started this job, there have been many times where I've been mistreated or rejected. People have just said really, really unkind things. Sometimes it's because the people don't like the king. But other times, it's because they don't believe I'm sharing his true message. They think I'm only talking for myself. Why would I do that? But those who welcome and honor my position, and ultimately who honor the king, receive a great reward. The king is watching, and he's quick to bless them. Jesus told his apostles that just as he was sent from the Father in heaven, he would also send his followers out into the world. He told them that some of the people would welcome them, while others would reject him. The Heavenly Father would reward those who chose to welcome them. Anyone 
who believes and follows Jesus is now one of his representatives on earth. Isn't that amazing? This includes you. When you are telling others about his plan of love and forgiveness, how he died on the cross to forgive sins, you are his representatives. Some people will welcome your message, others will not. God will reward those who welcome his messengers and his message. Jesus loves you and appreciate every act of worship that you offer to him. He says, even if someone offers the smallest of gifts, like a cup of cold water, to the smallest of people who follow Jesus, like a little child, they will be rewarded. Thank you all for welcoming me with such kindness. I will report back to the king. I'm sure that he will remember your kindness as you welcomed him well, face to face. And if you haven't figured it out yet, we serve the same king, King Jesus. He is a king that was a representative of heaven that came down on earth to become our representative, to live the life that we couldn't live and die the death that we couldn't die. You see, we get to stand here and be God's representative and proclaim his good news. Whereas Jesus on the cross, when he represented us, he received death, he received a storm, he received a curse, and yet he did it out of love so that we could stand here today praising his name. Isn't that amazing? <sighs> Until next time, represent our King well and welcome his servants, both great and small. Okay? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Well, it was so good for you to hear that, right? So when we saw me in that other form being a representative of the king, there are a couple things that we definitely learned, right? And kind of what that verse is saying. At the end of the day, it's really, really important for people to receive, um, to receive God's word. And we need, and there needs to be people to, in order to do that. And that's the thing is that all of us are representatives here on earth. When we're here, we're here to speak on behalf of others and be on behalf of the Lord, to, just to share his message of truth. Uh, I just wanted to leave you with the memory verse for this week. And it comes from Matthew chapter 10, verse 40. Anyone who welcomes you welcomes me. And anyone who welcomes me welcomes the one who sent me. All right. So that was from the verse that we just read, which is nice. Sometimes the verses don't always align, but this one particularly aligns. So especially when Mr. Daniel will do next last week today, it's a good thing to kind of keep in mind and a good way to remind yourself of the lessons that we learned today. Okay. So think about who me is in this verse. And we'll leave off with a prayer of confession. Remember, this is not, this is we haven't been doing these things very well, and it's something that we want to pray, that we're praying for all together. So just read aloud with me. Um, if you, you can stay muted, that's totally fine. But if you can't read, also fine too. Just, just uh, pray along with me, okay? All right. all right. And then I'll pray to close us. Heavenly Father, thank you for giving us your word so that we can understand your will and grow close to you. Right now, we ask you to forgive us the things that we have done wrong. We are sorry and are willing to change. We also ask you to help us forgive those who have done unkind things to us. We forgive them. Thank you, Lord, for loving us so much. We pray in Jesus' holy name. Amen. And that is definitely one way that we can be a great representative of God is by forgiving those that sometimes don't deserve to be forgiven because that's exactly what Jesus did for us. Dear Heavenly Father, I just wanted to thank you so much for all that you've done for us. Father, um, for protecting us throughout these difficult weeks. Um, Father, for bringing us wonderful weather as the summer comes in um, and we're about to celebrate the 4th of July. Father, I just pray thanking you that you sent your son, the best representative of heaven, um, down to earth to also represent us, to take on our sin. Um, and Father, to make us holy so that we can go out and represent him and have the honor of doing that. Help us to represent him well um, as we go live through our weeks. Help us to think about others more than ourselves. Um, help us to remember the son, your son and his character. Um, and it's really in his name that we pray. Amen. All right, friends. It was so wonderful to see you. Remember, next week we won't be live because it's 4th of July, and I'm sure you're going to be celebrating with your families. But we'll just have you can watch your recorded video during that time. Okay? Bye.